Hello, everyone. Today we're talking about, as promised, venting. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I'm Robin. This is Sonia. And we are Bali Mugs on the go venting. So I have to tell you something because it's like getting me crazy. You know this girl and then she did that oh. and, then, um, and then you know it's like it get me crazy and then I couldn't stop and then this and then she told it and then someone came blah, 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 blah. <laughs> venting. <laughs> <laughs> so venting. Yeah, sometimes again when you get triggered sometimes because you've been um, facing a situation. Yes. And then you feel like all emotional about that. Sometimes you need to let it out by speaking out to someone that could hear it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And venting is actually challenging sometimes because the person that we're venting to doesn't recognize that we're just venting. Yes. You know, so they try to help or sometimes they get a little too on board. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll go kill him and put him in the trunk and take him and dump him in the river. You know? <laughs> They're a little too helpful. Yes. Um, you know, yeah. So, so I think, we have to recognize that we have to choose what is the right time for it and who. Yes, who, yeah. yeah. Not everyone can hear the venting because some might be overwhelmed. It's like, oh, right. again, something like, ooh. And some people can just like feel like, oh, yeah, I, I get like, you got, that was challenging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's not easy. Oh, yeah. And, then, and sometimes they're just here. They're just here to listen. <laughs> listen. <Oops. laughs> Sorry. They're I'm just here to listen and it's, it's healthy. Yeah, I call them. Um, I, I took a course one time, and they and they call them. So I now call them um, allies. And so we have like multiple allies in our world. We have the person that we can cry on their shoulder. We have the person that we can vent to. We have the person that we can like um, that we know will tell us to take action. You know, the person who will just get us moving and motivate us. Um, so, so we have all these different allies. What we don't do that we need to do is use them properly because we use them anyway. We use the allies anyway, not negatively. Yeah. We just do. So if we take the time to recognize who they are in our life. So who is the person that when you just need to have a cry, yes. that that's that person or who's the person that you can go to and bitch about anything, excuse my language, but you know what I mean? And then who's the person who um, is, is going to make you take action even on the days when you don't want to, right? So who are these different people and then decide to use them more appropriately? Yes. Right. Yeah. Cause I don't know if like, if you could vent, like three times a day on your on your best friend. I'm yeah, not sure. It gets, that, that, it gets, yeah, it gets hard. Then you get like, yeah. uh, again, why are you calling me? Okay, I'm here to listen. It might be too much, but... Um, Hopefully, yeah, if they're your best friend, they'll yeah. tell you that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but, but know that it's healthy to like speak it out. Yes. And then speak it out. <laughs> sometimes. And sometimes it's, sometimes it's um, uh, helpful for the next steps. Yes. Right? Because sometimes we feel like we should be taking action. But we just need, you need to lay it all out. Some people do it by like writing or an email. Yeah. You know, like they don't put anybody in the contact on the email. They oh, just yes. type the whole thing out mm. as if they're going to send it. That makes, uh, that makes me uh, feel about an idea. Maybe we should create a vent on our Facebook group. Yeah. A vent it was permission to vent. And then, <laughs> to vent. Yeah. And then you can, I don't know, write whatever you feel like. Just like put it out there. Yeah. And then, then it's out. And it's not, uh, and nobody's and, trying to give you advice no. and nobody's trying to tell you what to do. You just get to say it. Yeah. Say it. And then maybe some other is like, Oh, me too. I feel like blah, blah, because blah, 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 blah. And then let it out. Right. And it's out yeah. because you don't want it to like stay here and here and then more and more. And then again, it's like, yeah, yes. Yeah. Making something not good inside. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And when it is trying, when you are trying to vent, it can be helpful to tell the person that's what your goal is. Oh yeah. Right. Cause then they don't try to help or they don't try to make you yeah, yeah, like I have, I have a, um, a mentor who, um, is always making me realize my part, you know, like, which is a very positive growth thing, but there are days you don't want to hear it, mm. you know? So if I say, you'll never believe what happened, blah, 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 blah. And then she will say, well, what is your part in that? And then I'm like, no, <laughs> I just want to be mad right now, you know? And so, so just say, hey, friend, I just need you to hear me. Don't say anything. Don't tell me what to do. Just let me say it. Yeah. And then just let them, let them do that to you. Yeah. Right? 
-hmm. It can be, it can be really beneficial because then you can actually have your pure vent session. True. And sometimes venting is not enough. Yeah. Sometimes you need way more than venting because it's not helping you go back to a better, safer place. It, be, it can become um, pattern driven, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, what's, let, the so let, what's the other side of that, right? <laughs> like you are venting. If you, can, if you know, check in on yourself every once in a while. If you know that you're venting all the time, mm -hmm. especially if it's about the same thing, that tells you something too, because that tells you that you haven't done anything about it. Yeah. Right. You haven't taken action. So those are the days that you have to call that mentor who's going to say, well, what are you going to do about it? Yes. Right. And then like real action to like, yeah, just slow down on the venting because it's not helping you. <laughs> yeah. And if it's a one situation, I think it deserves one vent, one vent session. Yeah. Like there's, you should put rules around it, you know, so that you're just not complaining all the time because that become. I know some people that literally have gotten into this pattern where they are just complaining about everything all the time. Yeah. That's not a happy life. No, because they don't see the opportunities in e every good. situation. Ever, yeah. ever. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not helping them grow. So. so I would say let's make some rules about it. Mm -hmm. If you have one situation, you get one vent session and then you are solution based and forward moving. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? It's like, maybe it's like, okay, maybe yeah, you vent. And then how do you feel after venting? Yeah. It's like, whew, okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. And then but if you still feel awful. You still feel like, uh -huh. Yeah. And then you've got, then you, know. you need, you have also the need to vent during the day. And it's like, oh, you have to do something else. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And because um, a moment of pain, this is another mentor of mine. See, that's the best mentors, you guys. A moment of pain should never become a lifetime of suffering. Oh no. Right? So that momentary thing, whatever it is, should be momentary. Mm -hmm. Then we get up, we pull up our pants. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. Yes. Right? Totally. Yeah. 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 That's good. Mm -hmm. So, okay. A three body mind inside. The first one, so find your venting friends, as we say, the one who can hear and just hear. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. My husband's so bad at that. <laughs> He's so bad. He's not a good person. He's not my person. <laughs> um, number two, recognize when you need more than a vent, right? So, so that's what we said. So once you vented, check in. How did that feel? Is it released? Is it gone? Or is it still niggling around inside you? And if it is, then that tells you you need more action. Something, oh, yes. something else needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then, and then you said one. And then what? And then what? Then so as we say, maybe after the first one, it's like, oh, feeling better. Moving on. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Or like taking action. Yeah. But realize you have to take action in your own action. <laughs> yeah. And while you're seeking that action, don't turn those moments into vent. Mm -hmm. Right? So you've had your vent. Now we're seeking a solution. And sometimes when we're seeking a solution, we fall back into that vent again because we get heightened and our emotions get take over. So, so work to not fall back into it. but it actually be in action-based time. And um, I'll just add, if it's about people, recognize, we have four insights, this is my point. I'm adding one now. Um, recognize that you will never please everyone all the time, nor will everyone please you all the time. Mm -hmm. So if it's a person and you have no control over that person, which we don't, which we don't, then sometimes <laughs> we have to just see that and recognize that we can agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. and be on other sides yeah sounds good mm. right so i think i'm going to create a post okay. on the facebook group permission to vent permission to vent so when she does you guys can't help each other there's no advice nope. this is just venting. Just like whatever <laughs> you need to do, let it out let it out there Ooh, safely this is safely exciting okay very cool thanks you guys bye, bye.